Hi everyone, hope you're all tickety-boo. Today we're going to have a look at the Weaver Less, this little baby here, and balancing the Canon EOS R with the RF35. Because you've been asking whether or not this one balances, I can tell you now it does. However, you want the measurements because you find it a bit tricky. So let's cue that intro and get into it. Play it back like a million times because I know that you're the absolute, the original. Okay, so I'm gonna show you various different ways of balancing it. We'll show you it with just the RF lens on itself, the RF lens with the ND filter on, and those of you that have watched my videos before will know that I tend to use the Monfrotto, Monfrotto, I can never ever pronounce it right. Frodo. 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 Quick release plate. So what I'll do is I'll show you the measurements for balancing it with that on, because the extra weight on there does make a difference. Anyway, before I do, I normally give you an uninteresting fact, don't I? This time, rather than that, I thought I'd try and tell you a bit of a dad joke. Well, that's what my daughters call them anyway. And my granddaughter calls them gangad jokes. Gangad, gangad jokes. <laughs> so here's the first one. What'd you get if you cross the Atlantic with an accountant? A boring 747. They're a bit like my jokes really, aren't they? Anyway, as I said, I'm gonna show you different measurements on this one, um, ways of setting up with the Monfrotto um, quick release plate. So rather than you having to watch all the video, if you're interested in one in particular, the start times of each one will be down below. So that'll be the RF35, the RF35 with the ND filter on, and the RF35 with the quick release plate, and the RF35 with the ND filter as well. Let's get into that. However, if you do have any other questions, please make sure you leave them down below in the comments. And if you like that one, you know what to do. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is the basic Canon EOS R with the RF35 lens on it with no ND filter. Now, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance at the end of the day. So this port, part even is even more important than the actual balancing because if you get this wrong the measurements I'm about to give you will not work and that's the same with all these setups that I'm going to give you on this one so um, I'll sh this one stays exactly as it is for both this with the ND filter on the front and when we put the Monfrotto one on in a minute but you'll see that in a sec so what you need to do is make sure that the old support plate is here and it's touching this rim here this rim here on the Canon EOS RF RF isn't movable, okay? So you need to make sure it's on there. And then on there, you should be able to see roughly where it is um, actually marked. So the seven actually is it full line with the back of the camera. So if you've got it set up like that, perfectly on there, the rest of it will work. Let's look at the measurements on the actual Weeble S and get that one up and running. Okay, so I've made all the settings on here and what I've done is I've actually locked off every point. Yeah, before anybody says, oh, it's locked, it's not balanced, we'll show you that it is in a minute because somebody made a comment on that last time. But that's just to make it easy for doing this and you'll see why in a second. What you do is you lock everything off, okay? Put all the lock points on, put it in the way the camera will be set up, so the camera will be up on here, okay? And then what you do is you go in and set all the measurements. So the first measurement you need to look at is the base plate. So if I can just turn that one that way a sec, okay. Hopefully you can see that okay there. All right, so the base plate just here is set at 1.9. That's at 1.9, okay. The next one you need to look at, all right, is the actual plate here that you sit the camera on. And you'll notice I haven't got the quick release one on there because that's on the belt of the camera. But that needs to be set at, on this side, two, okay. So on there, you need to have it set on two. All right, that's on that one there. Hopefully you can get that focused in. Yep. And then on here, it's on 6.5, okay? And the last measurement is this one over here. All right, so if I tilt that forward for you a bit, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Drop it down there, okay? So that measurement there is set dead on one. Okay, so that's the side arm is on one. This plate here is on 2 and 6.5, and the one down there is on 1.9. Let's get the camera on. Okay, that's everything set up. All the locks are undone on here now, okay? The only measurement you can't do, because there isn't a way of measuring it, is this one here. So it's the one on the side. Now you can see I can get my fingers through there, that's roughly where it would need to be, but that's the only one you need to play about with. So if you set all the other three setups first of all, then last of all you just need to balance this one so that it can stay like that, you can stay like that, you can stay like that, okay? You can put it up to there, and you'll see, hopefully, that it's fully balanced, all right? And that's the way you can tell when you've got it fully balanced is because if you put it in any position, it should, near enough, stay still, 
Right, so the proof in the pudding at the end of the day is actually starting it up. So let's have a look. A couple of seconds later and it should fire up and be solidly balanced. So there you can see, you can see, yeah, it's all moving. Now the reason I got the wire on there because I've taped that one on there, but it doesn't throw the balancing out on these measurements. Okay, so that's the image transmitter. Right, what I'm going to do now is just change it over slightly so that you can see it with the ND filter on. Like I said, this unit here stays exactly as it is. So here we have the setup with the ND filter on the front. It's a gobe ND filter, it's a variable ND filter. Most of them weigh roughly about the same, so these measurements should work for you. Um, the reason you use the gobe ones really, to be honest with you, and there will be a link down below if you're interested in them, they um, help the environment by planting trees. They also are reasonably priced and they are really good quality um, ND filters. They don't seem to muck the colours up too much anyway. Um, so that's on the front. Now there is only one measurement you need to change. These all stay the same. The bottom one's 1 1.9. The one on the side over there at the back, yeah, that one there, that one stays on one. The one that changes obviously is because you've put extra weight on the front here is this one. That moves back to 1.8. And if it goes back to 1.8, that means it's going to be 6.3 at the back. Okay, so it's 1.8 and 6.3. So back to them, 1.9, one at the rear, 1.8 and 6.3. So one thing I forgot to mention in the last setup was that whenever you change the measurements on this, it's always a good idea to go into the settings, okay, and do the auto-tune. So if you don't know how to do that, all you basically do, okay, just tilt the camera down so you can see it hopefully. Zoom in a little bit more there. Right, so, so in here, you press the bottom one to go to the settings. Oh, mine's already on there, sorry. So you press the bottom one to go to the settings. You go into motor, you click to the left, and you click to the left again, and it'll do its auto-tune. And then, when everything's all hunky-dory, it should come up and say, okay. Let's just see that happen. It's in the old vibration bit. There we go, check okay. So that's that one done. What I'm going to do now is get on to doing this one with the um, Monfrotto yeah, base plate. This one here, get that on there. So you've got a quick release plate on there. See you in a sec. Right, so I fit the Monfrotto um, quick release plate and there's only one way to fit this, which is as it is now. So if you want to have a look at that, the reason being is this, see this little um, screw here, which I'm sure some people have grind off and things like that but then it won't work with the settings I'm about to tell you. Okay, that needs to be right to the back and up tight against here. So the screw's in between five and six. Set it up like that, okay, and you won't have any problems. So let's look at the measurements on the old uh, Weeble S. We okay, let's have a look at the settings for this one then. Let's get them set up before you put the camera on. So you have this one here, first of all, all right? That one's set at 1.7. You got the side ones here, okay? Those, I hope you can see them all right. They're set at 2.4. And then these ones here, which are probably slightly out of focus. Yeah, slightly out of focus, 3.2 and 7.6. Okay, now then. Okay, we've got the plate on. Let's get the camera in there. It's one of the reasons why I love putting it on here like this. You can get it in there and you just lock that one on. Right, unlock all the um, locking points. That's that one done. And that one done, and that one done as well. So you can see it is moving all around nice and freely. And then you can see that it's balanced nicely as well. Okay, goes into that position, that position. And that's when you can tell it's balanced when it pretty much stays still in all these positions. So let's get them switched on. And there we go. Now, like I said before, I'm not going to do it now in... Um, bore you to tears with it, but always use the auto-tune on there and get it set up really nice and easy. What I'm going to do now is just remove that ND filter on the front and give you the final measurements for that and then that's it all finished. So this would be the quickest one out of all of them. None of the measurements have changed on the arm, on the side-to-side -side one here, or the um, vertical arm on the back there, all right? The only one you've had to change is the base plate. And you've only had, needed to move that by one unit. So this here now is 3.3, okay? And the back one's 7.7. .7. This down here is still 1.7, and the one on the back there, that one to the side, okay, just there, 
is set at 2.4, okay? They're all done. It's all locked up nicely, but to show you that it's all nicely balanced, because people sometimes don't believe you for some reason. God knows why I'd do this if it, if it wasn't. There you go, nicely done. All right, put it in that position. Oh, it's slightly out. It does work, I promise you. There we go, all right. So, last but not least, switch them on. And hopefully you'll see one, two, three, moving around nicely, okay. And one, two, puts it into that mode, you know, for the vertex and everything else. Right, that's it then. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. So there you go, hopefully you found that useful. Make note of the measurements because then you'll never have to um, watch this video again. Mind you, I don't mind if you do. Um, but I will be releasing loads of other videos with different lens setups and also on the Canon EOS RP with similar lenses as well. So if you're interested in them, why don't you hit that subscribe button. That's it for today. Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers and gone.